Good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here, and it's time for some coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And my coffee is almost gone. Uh, but uh, hallelujah. Thank God the word of God will never run out, never run dry. Hallelujah. It's a continuous river of life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I just want to say, Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for this time that we can share in your word. And I pray that you'll bless it to our spirit, Lord. Help us to be strong and to overcome the things that uh, we have to endure. And this day, Father God, today, help us to give thanks always in all things, knowing that this is your will for us in Christ Jesus. We thank you and we praise you for your word and ask you to uh, help us to apply it to our life today. Hallelujah. Be glorified, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope you said amen. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a little break from uh, Psalm 119. And uh, the Lord, uh, in our um, daily devotion today, uh, my wife and I are reading through, we're reading through Isaiah. But, of course, I came upon a familiar passage of Scripture. And I thought that I would read this with you and uh, um, expound a little bit upon it. Hallelujah. Hopefully you'll hear something, learn something, and... Uh, even I, um, after reading this time and time again, um, was brought to tears, uh, tears of joy and thanksgiving, knowing that God loves us so much that he would hallelujah, write something so encouraging that after almost 3,000 years, it's still encouraging us today. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your word that never fails. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to read Isaiah chapter 40, and we're going to read verses 28 through 31. And so the, the Bible reads, um, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. See, uh, he, he, he says, have you not known, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth? I mean, he, 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 he shows you who we're, who we're talking about here. This is the, the great God, the almighty creator of, of everything. And yet he cares enough about you. To say, look, I don't faint and I never get weary. There is no searching of his understanding. This is amazing because in light of the fact that I was listening to um, a video. Um, yeah, I didn't listen much, but just enough. I've already heard his, his, um, his stuff and I know what he's going to say. Uh, I was just reaching out to Bart Ehrman. Bart Ehrman, of course, if you don't know who he is, is a, a textual critical scholar that has turned against Jesus and speaks out against the authenticity and reliability of Holy Scripture, um, showing what he calls contradictions and uh, uh, tells everybody to have an open mind. Um we cannot have an open mind. We cannot be so open-minded that we end up seeking other things besides the Word. We end up turning against the Word because uh, the Bible then becomes uh, not enough for us. Got to be something more than this. No, we can't even we can't even search all of his understanding there are secret things deuteronomy 29 29 
that are not even searchable. I mean, there are things about this book. This is, literally speaking, this is a small book. It's just one book, um, but it is eternal in the heavens. And mankind has been trying to search this book for centuries, for thousands of years since its completion, over 2,000 years, and yet they still can't get it right. We can't get it right. We need to continue to seek the Lord. But Isaiah's um, <clears throat> intention here, the Lord's intention through Isaiah here, was to encourage us that are struggling with something, whatever that might be. Um, if you have to endure a particular type of tribulation, trial, any type of uh, um, uh, thing that uh, would cause you to be weary and, and faint, uh, and many people during this time of this COVID-19 virus um, have grown weary and and are ready to give up. They just, people are committing suicide right and left. It's sad. And yet, you look here, all you need to do is look to this. He says, even the youths, young people will faint and be weary. Young men will utterly fall. He said, but they, like, but, <laughs> hallelujah, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, hallelujah, flying high above. And you see yourself soaring high above, looking down on these things, and it can't touch you, hallelujah, because you're thousands of miles up, just soaring in the winds and just trusting the Lord, hallelujah. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So when you run that race, hallelujah, to win that prize. You keep running and you run and you run until you cross the finish line. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Certainly God can give you the strength that you need to overcome the things that we have to endure in this life. Hallelujah. But they that wait upon the Lord, they'll renew their strength. Hallelujah. Be encouraged today. Um, know that the Lord is in control of your life and know that God um, can and will give you the strength to endure. Hallelujah. And uh, hopefully um, your endurance will bring you back here again where we can have more coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day in Jesus name.